In this video, I'm going to share with you the five questions to ask yourself if you have a big decision to make. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jane Foray, career coach for frustrated professionals who are ready to take the next step up in their career. If you've just arrived here, then don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell. So at some point in all of our lives, we will find ourselves at a crossroads. You might need to make a life changing decision, or maybe you've been offered the role of your dreams, which we all know means stepping outside of your comfort zone, right? And you just do not know what to do for the best. So in the summer of 2016, I was, I was at a crossroads deciding whether to leave British Airways after working there for almost 20 years, or whether I should stay. So I'd already had the conversation with my boss where she informed me that my role was quote unquote, at risk of redundancy. And what she'd done is she had shared the list of available opportunities with me. Now I looked through this list and none of those opportunities appealed to me because I'd either done the role before in a previous life, or I just, there were just roles that did not set me on fire or they were seen as some sort of poison chalice where you know that whoever was in that role was never going to shine bright like a diamond as Rihanna would say. And deep down, I knew that I had to leave but I couldn't quite find the right push to help me get there. So fast forward a few weeks and I was speaking with a friend who'd been in a similar position just a couple of years before and he gave me the five questions to ask myself. So before I'm going to share with, I'm going to share those questions with you today, but before we get into the questions, there are a number of rules that you need to follow for this exercise to be the most effective. So rule number one, find yourself a quiet space where you will not be disturbed. If you can do this outside, even better. Rule number two, follow the questions in the order that they are listed. Okay, and there is method to this madness. Trust me on this. Don't go skipping back and forth because you want to answer a particular question before another one. Answer the questions in the order. Rule number three, avoid the temptation to analyze each answer. The first thing that comes into your head is usually the correct answer. So just trust yourself on this. What I also mean by avoid the temptation to analyze each answer is just get the ideas out of your head and onto a piece of paper. Don't think, oh, that's never gonna work. Is that true? Is it not true? This is just about generating the ideas and getting them down on paper. So rule number four is do not move on to the next question until you have exhausted all possible answers to the question that you're working on at that moment. So a little coaching technique, a little good coaching question to ask yourself is, what else? What else? What else? Keep asking yourself that question until you have no more responses. And rule number five, which is a kind of Jane Foray rule, um, in my opinion, pen and paper work best for this exercise. There's just something about the motion of handwriting that connects with the neurotransmitters in your brain that will just make you more creative. If all you have is a laptop, an iPad and, or a phone, and that's what you wanna use, then go ahead. But I do find that pen and paper work best for this exercise. So those are the five rules for you. So let's get down to the questions. Remember, answer all of these in order and exhaust all possibilities before you move on to the next question. So question number one is, what do I like about my current situation? Now, when I was doing this exercise, I came up with a list of, I'll give you some examples to kind of help your thinking. The type of things I liked about my current situation were things like, it was an easy commute. I knew the business, people knew me. I had a great reputation within the business. Um, it's the devil I know, right? Salary, pension scheme. I work for an airline, so we had great travel privileges. Um, I got the opportunity to go out and about to external networking events. Um, things like that. Those were things that, that I liked about my current situation. So over to you for that question. If you want to pause this video right here, pause this video right here and put down everything until you can answer no more. Okay, welcome back. Let's move on to question number 
two, which is what would be horrific about the new situation? So some of my examples that I came up with, and I'm actually cheating here, I've actually got the original notebook from when I did this exercise. Um, things that could be horrific about the new situation. So for me, it was things like, I don't find a job. I spend on my redundancy package. Um, I don't like the business that I go and work for. I find that I've got less flexibility in my organisation. I could find that it's not as good an opportunity as I thought initially. So those are some of the examples about what could be horrific about my new situation. So again, think about this from your perspective. So again, if you want to pause this video and go and write your answers, then do that right now. We'll be waiting for you when you come back. How was that bit? <laughs> So question number three is, what is really terrible about the current situation? So some of the examples that I came up with were um, things like, there was no money to do what I wanted to do in my strategy. Um, and there was a constant reworking of budgets, which I personally found really frustrating. So that was something that was quite terrible about my current situation. I was also working for an airline, so we were kind of lurching from one crisis to another, to another, to another. And I just found that we were never really getting out of that scenario. And that for me was just something that I did not enjoy. I also put here that I work with people who are not brilliant at what they do. I did work with some people who were, but the, the, there were a couple of people I was working with who I just thought were not delivering to a standard that they should be delivering at. I also thought, do you know what, future pay rises are going to be minimal. And I was proven to be right on that. Um, but that was just something that would impact things like my pension, etc. So my earning potential was quite limited where I was. Also, I put about one thing from, about me is, is growth. So I put there's actually very little opportunity to grow personally. I was looking at the jobs that were at the next level and I just thought, these are not jobs that I want to do. So either I can remain in this role and just become brilliant at this role. I can't see myself moving up the ladder, so am I going to be happy working here? Okay, so go ahead and answer, go ahead and hit that pause button. Put all your answers down to question number three, what is really ter terrible about the current situation? Okay, question number four. What could be really great about the new situation? Now, for me, this is, I mean, this is just like where your mind can just go crazy, right? Because this is a could be really great about the new situation. So you could find your dream job. You could find yourself working in a company that you really like, that's really aligned with your values. Um, I put things like I would re I would be respected for my knowledge. Um, I would have the opportunity to travel again. Um, and the big thing for me was once I had made the break out of working in one organisation for 20 years, doing it again would be much easier. So your question number four is what could be really great about the current situation? If you want to hit pause right now and go and answer it, do that. We'll be here waiting for you. Fifth and final question. What is the most important thing in my life right now? This is just for me. This was about being healthy being happy, continuing to grow, and embracing a simpler life. So if you wanna go ahead and just write down what is the most important thing to you right now, hit that pause button and do it. Welcome back, so how was that? So now what, you'll pro the, what you will have, if you follow my instructions, is you will have pages and pages and pages of data. So what I would suggest that you do now is to just go back and read through everything that you have written down so far. And if other things come to mind as you're reading through the list, then capture these thoughts under the relevant question. Also take a look at where you've written the most responses. Um, if you've not written too much for question number one, for example, this could indicate that there's not too much to like about where you are right now. And that could be a big sign for you that you need to move on. Also consider how you feel when you read back your answers to question number four. Think about how excited did you feel when you were answering this question? And have you actually surprised yourself with some of the responses? And then what about the killer question number five? What is it that you've written down here? And which of your current offers on the 
that you've got on the table actually fulfills what you've got written down here. When I completed this exercise and I looked back over all of my responses, what became really clear to me was that all the reasons that I was choosing to stay where I was was really functional. So that what I mean by that is that they were all based around the terms and conditions of my contract, the length of my commute, the cachet of working for a household name. There was nothing there that really excited me. There was nothing that was kind of lighting my fire. The focus of the business at that time was one of cost cutting. It was one of constant reworking of budget. And that just prevented me from actually seeing through any of the talent strategy that I'd put in place. I was bored and I needed a challenge. I also knew that at the time I was in my mid forties and I had at least another 15 years of work ahead of me. And I really couldn't see myself spending them all at British Airways. I'd had a great career. This is not dissing the organisation at all. But just for me, where I was at my point in my life, I couldn't see myself working there for another 15 years. So right then and there, a light bulb went off for me. I knew that I had to leave British Airways. I knew that I had to create a new life for myself outside of this corporate bubble. And what this exercise helped me to do was to really just focus on the future and think about the possibilities that were available to me rather than focus on what it was that I was losing or giving up by leaving the organization. So if you have, if you've watched this video all the way through, go and rewind it back from the start, try this exercise for yourself and let me know how you get on. So in summary then, if you find yourselves at a crossroads in life with a big decision to make, ask yourself these five questions. What do I like about my current situation? What would be horrific about my new situation? What is really terrible about the current situation? What could be really great about the new situation? And what is the most important thing in my life right now? Remember to ask yourself these questions in this order. Give yourself the time and the space to do this exercise where you've not been disturbed. And remember, try and exhaust every possible answer before moving on to the next question. So if you found this video useful, then please do click on that like button, share this video with anyone that you feel would get some value from it, and please do subscribe for any future episodes. My name is Jane Foray, career coach for frustrated professionals. I'll see you on the next video.